you see it there, Ferg? Yeah, yeah. Just to the right there. I'm going to just try and move into the area there. Okay, 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 okay. You've got to... Somebody gave somebody a nip. Now, if you are a new viewer, there were two hyena cubs here. And since we've named them Ntima and Lamula uh, via the voting of our TV audience last Sunday, um, I must tell you that I think one of them is gone. I think one of them has been killed. There is only one cub here now. Lex has been here for some time. And there's only one cub here at the moment. And it's a male. I've definitely seen that it's a male. And you can tell that by the pinched end that there is to what is not a pseudo penis, but a real penis. And if you're wondering what all that's about, it is because hyenas have this unique feature of having false male genitalia. The, fe the, m the females have false male genitalia, so it's very, very difficult to sex them. Some consternation going on here. I don't know what they're upset about. The cubs disappeared into the hole. You can see those adults looking a bit alarmed. Heads up, tails up, smelling, listening. And the cub still showing no signs of coming out of its hole. Let's just move a little bit around there. In fact, let's go around the other way because we do know that that hole goes all the way through the den. What I don't want to do is sandwich the hyenas between Lex and I. So we'll just go around this side. It's sad that they seem to have lost one. And unusual, you know, especially if that one's a male. I think that the chances of there have been a sort of uh, canism or siblicide are very, very small. So I don't think the cub would have killed its sibling. And when that, if that isn't the case, it's very strange for hyenas to lose their youngsters because, well, they're just so very secure normally in the den site. Much more so than young leopards or young lions. Now, John, you're asking why the females have got fake male genitalia, and it's extremely difficult to say. I mean, from a physical point of view, we know why they have fake male genitalia, because they've got extremely high testosterone levels, and that extremely high testosterone levels results in this development of, I mean, they've got higher testosterone level than the males, and that results in these enlarged, uh, yeah, very enlarged clitorises, which in turn look like, which are called pseudo penises. And interestingly, the hyena gives birth through that organ and mates through it, although it obviously doesn't function completely like a penis does. Um, but the evolutionary reason for why it should be like that is very difficult to sort of separate out. Why it would have developed like that is difficult to say, because it presents an extremely difficult uh, birth canal. Uh, young cubs often die. The, the first cubs of a female hyena often die in childbirth or pup cub birth because it is just so very, uh, you know, the design of the birth canal is so very narrow. And although it does hurt the female, it doesn't kill her, but it often kills the cub. So why they have it is difficult to say. Good morning. Just just the one cub, Lex? Just the one cub. Okay. Yeah, now Tristan apparently also the other day mentioned only one cub and Lex has only seen one cub here, so I think that is the case. That one of them has been unfortunately removed from this mortal coil rather too soon. The adults have filtered off down there through the mist and I don't know that they're going to come back so I think we had a brief nice view of the hyenas. We'll sit here for another three minutes or so and then we'll probably press on and see what else we can find. 
We'll just have one last look into the front of the den there. So in the meantime, let's head across to Jamie Patterson, who's managed to find herself a large swimming thing.